welcome to Hancon Network where you get updates of things happening around you. I appreciate every one of you that have subscribed to this channel. And if you have not subscribed, I say thank you very much because I know that at the end of this news, you are going to subscribe. And I want you to press the red button and also the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we publish any news. Thank you very much once again. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, have said that the unfolding agenda of President Muhammadu Buhari since coming to power has proved that its leader, Nam Dekano, was not a rabble rouser after all. In a press statement issued by its spokesperson, Ima Powerful, the group said that what is being witnessed in the country today was unthinkable a few years ago, counting from Buhari's assumption of office in mid-2015. It regretted that when Kano drew attention to those issues in the past, he was accused of beating war drums while IPOP was declared a terrorist group and proscribed. Taking the issues one after the other, IPOP said, first, Namde Kano was the first to accuse Buhari of plotting a jihad and fulanization of Nigeria as far back as 2015. He was widely condemned for his, even by some of the eminent persons who have now turned full circle to saying exactly the same thing four years later in 2019. Among them, General Theophilus Danjuma even took his petition to the United Kingdom government and both he and Hoane Zendibu, President, Nia Umudu and other converts are now sounding more militant than the mirrored pronouncement issuing from Namde Kano that these people had roundly condemned as militancy and criminal to boot. Also, the group said, as far back as 2016, Kano warned about an impending assault on the judiciary, especially the Supreme Court, and called on Nigeria Bar Association to prime itself to resist it. Again, Kano warned about a federally supported and empowered Fulani in rules into middle and southern Nigeria, but again, his warnings were dismissed as hate speech. The treatment against him notwithstanding, Kano further warned that the 2019 elections will be rigged to return Buhari to power, for which reason he had deployed it as the main justification for ordering a boycott of the election in southeast and south-south. This indicated that Kano deserved a pass on the back and not vilification um yeah um we can really say that those things he really said uh, then they're really coming to pass and meanwhile uh some people were like oh could it be that this man is a seer or is a prophet or something or he has some kind of information you know that people couldn't really get and some like oh he's not a prophet it's just that it's just intelligence if really intelligence is easy to come by, I think everybody would have gotten it because if really it's just ordinary intelligence. Of course, somebody that said he's really intelligent, he might not be out of place, but it's not easy for everybody to have that intelligence because a lot of people, you know, behave otherwise. So it's all encompassing. If you say it's a prophet or a seer or it's intelligence, everything is still boils down that, you know, or everything he has said before, he has predicted or he has been warning people about or talking about, you know, everything is coming to pass. And a lot of people now are beginning to align with that. And also, uh, I, I think he, the person that says or the people that are saying that is really intelligent, I really want to, you know, take some fat from that. A lot of people might even have this information, but because of fear, they don't just want to come out that uh, in case if I'm being called upon to come and answer these questions or to, or to come and prove my claim and if i'm not able to do that you know i could be uh backlash or i could be abused and all of that a lot of people just try to keep those things to themselves if you say it's a seer or is a prophet and it's intelligent and one thing again is very bold because once you are saying that then you should be ready for the worst and which you really you, you really faced the music he was saying that because he knew quite all right that, that even as he was saying that they were going to come for him, which they really came for him. And when he was in Nigeria, the kind of crowd he was really pulling, you know, it became so worrisome even to, to everyone, even to, to the governments. Like if this guy should continue like this, something else would, you know, must have happened. So he had that boldness and he still had that boldness. He's still saying that even when the Biafra radio was closed down, you know, they were still operating, you know, the way they could, but just for them to really, or for him to be able to 
pass the message what he has in him and also he has that information the information is you know he really, he really has you know very very powerful those information are very very powerful and coupled with the fact that he's so bold to even say those things and we all know how everything went now that he's out of nigeria you know he still goes around you know meets his people still telling them still re-echoing all the things he said you know he's, he has never really retraced his step back he has never changed mouth he has never he has never said anything outside what he has been saying and he's still repeating them and gradually those things he said you know we are beginning to see them and people were like ah you know there's this language they used to ah you know nigeria is a zoo what people do people like you know why would you be using that kind of language even in as much you are still in that country you know maybe you could be calling yourself a, a you know uh maybe you are in, in the zoo but a lot of people still refer to that oh you know that they tend to align with him that if people that say nigeria is a zoo that they, it's not really out of place because when you see things are happening around even the people that are the aim of affair the way they reason the way they do things just because of greed because of money you know you just be wondering and the people that they are ruling too they will still be supporting them it's just like you know you, are, you have an oppressor and you are still singing the praises of that oppressor so it tends to make someone to think that you know this can really happen in the zoo even some people like you know even in animal kingdom there you know there's this orderliness but in the kind of setting that we have a lot of abnormalities do happen so if you say he's a seer if you say he's intelligent if you say he's a prophet all for good but one thing that is pertinent and one thing that is really you know that is coming to reality is that everything is said they are coming to pass you know everybody is now running a task letter, you know concerning this a full anything when he was saying that we will say this guy you know he's too proud this guy he talks you know the way he feels how can you be saying such thing where did you get this information you know you have to prove it you have to do this you have to do that even when this issue of a uh, you know jubri or no jubri came up oh this was something else ah this guy you know he just wanted to talk Maybe he just love to talk. He just want to say some things. Of course, he might have his evidence with him that, you know, being an intelligent person, you don't just release your source like that. But he has been saying it. But the issue is that nobody just wants to take him serious. That, you know, it's not possible. It's not done. Like that Nigeria has not really, you know, advanced to that level that they want to really double somebody that, you know, if we talk about, you know, every other atrocities, people believe that, okay, Nigeria could, you know, they could have they would have stepped up you know they could do and undo but when it comes to that a technological aspect of it or developmental aspect of it that nigeria has not really gone through that process and that is why a lot of people are really still being skeptical that you know it's not possible it's not possible but for what we are seeing now this issue of full learning of a thing you know everybody tends to believe that this guy really you know has some kind of information even before the people that are really are trying to project this their hearts even before they he knew whether he was even part of maybe as if he was part of the people that you know or maybe he got to hear some kind of information from the source that this a uh, fulanization of um, uh, whatever they call it we want to happen and he has been singing the praise so guys that's just my own opinion i would like you to leave your opinion or comments be below in the comment section thank you very much <laughs>